welcome back to Linux Wednesdays, where we look at Linux tips and tricks on a Wednesday. In this video, I'm going to show you a search file utility called Catfish. Now you'll find Catfish by pressing the menu button, going into your software manager, and then typing in the search box Catfish. I believe you can also do a sudo app get installed Catfish. So let's have a look at Catfish. Click on Catfish, and then you got up here, you'll have install. Click on install, and uh, get your password and install the software. There's some uh, reviews about catfish, awesome, essential, and so on. Now you can find your catfish by doing catfish. And if you right click, you can add a desktop uh, icon there, which is what I've done here. So if I double click on catfish, you'll see this box appears. And here is the folders you want to search. I can search my whole hard drive, desktop, I can search just the file system, uh, my video camera, my one terabyte. Uh, internal hard drive, my 256 gig NVMe drive. I can search just documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads, and I can go over. I can search for different things. Now, in here, I can type in the search what I want to search for. And it says catfish file search. Enter your query above to find your files or click on the spur gear icon for more options. So, if you click here, you got uh, side, show sidebar, show you the files, search file content, match results exactly. Refresh search index preferences and about. Now, if I click on about, it just tells you what version I've got, which is 1.1413. And there's the people who's done it. So, good on you, credited and artwork. So, uh, catfish file search. If I click on here and press on the preferences, I can change the window layout. So, I can have it as that one if I wanted to. So, modern CSD or classic in the title bar. Your new window layout, uh, layout will be applied after restarting catfish. And I've got uh, display options there. I can show you them files in results and filter sidebar. Click on advanced and I can have different paths there if I want to search for them. Click on the spur gear again. Click here. I'm not sure what that does at the moment. I have to it's going to take a screenshot at some point. So let's search for something. And here we're going to do a .mp3 and press enter. Now I'm going to search all of my system for mp3s. And it's found three on there. Radio MP3, Shortcom MP3, and Shortcom 1 MP3. And I think they're um, audio files from that I've recorded using Audacity to get a second soundtrack. I don't need that now because I've got a, a Zoom H2N recorder. Let's search for files on my video camera. .mts. And these are MTS files for my video camera. And you see it's searched them all. It's got... Uh, loads of them on there and you can search uh, the, there's a the file name size location and a date modified now I can change it so I can have the uh, smallest size first just by clicking on size smallest size first and a bigger size at the bottom there press it down there again I've got a bigger size at the top and smallest size at the bottom there I can do the date modified by clicking on the down arrow and there we go so date modified so 16th of the first 22 is the first one it goes 27th of the first 22 and so on you can do Anything you want to search for, such as JPG. And there we go. I'm going to search for all my photos and stuff I've got on the system there. And that's the Arduino stuff that I've been playing around with. Let's search for, um, see, a Pixel for Program, Kane Live. There we go. It's Pixel Kane Live. There's the icon in my pictures. And there's the app image. I should be able to double click the app image and let it run. Is it going to run? No, let's try the icon PNG. The icon PNG runs, but the app image won't run through this program. Let's do a, what else can we search for? Dot MP4. And there we go, Viber downloads, because I'm uh, sending videos to friends on Viber. There you go, bless this house MP4. And there's my last video I've done on the channel, which is a simple two meter dipole. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch it. But this is a cool catfish, a simple search utility. And you can change here. You can go to search whole system, go search just a desktop, you can search the file system, camera SD, so external things like uh, memory cards, you can search my one terabyte volume, my 256 gig volume, you can search just the documents, music, the pictures, videos, downloads, and other. I can press on other and I can plug another USB stick and so on. Other locations, I can probably search on network and stuff. That was a, a very quick look at a program called Catfish, which allows you to search for files on a system. If you found this Linux Wednesday any good, 
you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. Don't like the next Wednesday, you know what to do, give it a thumbs down, that button works too. But as always, thank you very much for watching. And what search utility do you use on Linux? Um, do you use the standard one that comes with Linux, which is just here in the search box there? Or do you use Catfish? Which one do you use when searching for your files and folders on Linux? Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video.